What is going on guys, Slickby here, and today I got a very, very cool mission that I'm showing off. This is the TA-154. This is the last dual engine prop fighter, or night fighter, that Germany created during the Second World War. Pretty cool. I believe it's armed with 230s and 220s. That's what it felt like, at least in the uh, game when I was playing it. A lot of big news today, obviously. Uh, with ships being announced it's pretty cool there's a lot of speculation on a lot of people are saying that big ships won't be able to be controlled it's only small ships and pt boats and stuff like that i don't know i still think ships are cool i think they're a cool addition to the game and i'm super pumped for them now this is another thing that i oh, also before i get into it, japanese tanks apparently are coming to gamescom as well which is also going to be pretty interesting i don't know how they're going to fully fledge out that tree there are a lot of paper tanks for Japan, you know, not a, not a lot of their tanks were implemented super well. And before, again, I get into any of this, thank you so much for creating this user mission. It'll be linked down below. Go check it out. Download it. This was kind of overlooked by a lot of us War Thunder YouTubers. I didn't see anybody make videos on it. I could, I could have just missed it, but I didn't see anybody make videos on it. And it's super cool. Super good model. The plane looks amazing. Now, in the war, the TA-154 wasn't really created in any big numbers. The prototypes did better than the actual production run of this vehicle, which is, you know, kind of sad. But it's a good-looking plane. I like the night fighter kind of style, you know, the heavy fighters uh, with radar. I don't, I don't think this plane had radar, but the heavy, heavy planes with radar are, are pretty cool. Um, but I don't know much else about this plane. I'm sure a lot of you guys can, you know... Tell me what you think about it. I'm more so just wanting to talk about custom missions and where that's going in War Thunder. I'm a lot of people are creating these awesome, awesome, you know, vehicles and stuff like that. We had the Lightning. Uh, Baron showed off the Goliath, not the Goliath, uh, the Goblin. <laughs> the Goliath, the Goblin, and it really shows the that the creators who create models and stuff can really push this game. Uh, you know, past what it is right now, they can make it better immensely, and it's it's pretty crazy. So, you know, if you guys if you make models and stuff, and you make models for this game, thank you very much. You know, you're really helping the community out. For example, the HE219 was a community-made model. The guy actually made money off of that, which is fantastic. Now, I mean, you can't make a model and go to War Thunder and assume that they're going to take it, but it can happen you know and it was proven and it was an amazing model it was awesome and you know one of my favorite planes in game right now so hopefully we'll see that in the future i hope gaijin implements that a lot more it'll be absolutely amazing if they do and yeah so just enjoy a little bit of music a little bit of this plane killing some things hope you guys enjoyed this video go check out this user mission in the link down below or in the description down below and I will see you guys back tomorrow with the normal stream. <laughs> I, ran, I ran that guy. Uh, back at the normal stream. So, yep. Peace, peace.